it's here. Rune's contract said they'd set up traps along the passage. Might as well use them. Gotta take advantage of that. I should salvage what I can and leave the plating for Laren's crew. That's plenty of salvage for me. Huntress, you're back. I took down that shell walker for you. Vonda, Rendor, we got a pickup. For our contract, here's your payment. This will definitely help me make some great armor. But? Well, I realized an armor made out of shell walker plating's good, but with just a few minor additions, it could be so much better. If you'd be willing to take on a few more contracts. What do you say? Tell me more about these contracts of yours. I was thinking, scrapper jaws are powerful. I could use them to strengthen my armor. Crew spotted a pack of them not far from here, primed for salvage. I guess I can give the contract a look. Fantastic. What else do you need for your armor? Alarm antennas. Strong, supple. I could use them to make my armor more flexible. We picked out a herd of scroungers already. I'll, uh, read through the contract, see what I can do. Best of luck! I should get going. I'll be waiting for that salvage. I know I can make the perfect armor. I just need the right parts. The Charger heard Laren's contract mentioned should be close by. I might want to look through the contract one more time. Make sure I didn't miss anything. There are the Chargers. If I can take a few of them down, it should lure in the scrappers I'm looking for.
Do it. Time to take these parts back to land. Timing, Huntress. I got you the scrapper jaws you needed. Ah, some fine components. Here, your payment. I should get going. Be careful out there. Hey, Lord, I've got some prime salvage for you right here. Should be able to override scrangers now. Must be close to the machine site Lauren's contract mentioned. I should read it one more time. Just in case. Scroungers, just like Lauren said. I need their antennas. If I shoot them off without getting spotted, everything should go smoothly. Acid ammo could help here.
take these antennas back to Lerand when I get a chance. Timing, Huntress. Got the alarm antennas you asked for. Ah, perfect. These will do. As promised, here's your payment. Maybe now you'll consider taking my other contract. Should be easy enough for a skilled hunter like yourself. Looks like you've got everything you need to make your armor now. Actually, our scouts spotted a fanghorn nearby? It spews fire like a blazing forge. If I had it, my armor could resist an inferno. What do you think? I'll check the details later, see if I can track it down. You won't regret it. I should get going. Good luck finding that fanghorn. I promise, these are the last parts we'll need, Huntress. I do a lot of damage. I see machine tracks. Might be the Fanghorn I'm looking for. There's a lot of different machine tracks here. I'm gonna need my focus to tell them apart. Spec tracks. Not what I'm looking for. It's about to get loud. No luck. These tracks were made by a charger. On the Fanghorn tracks. The trail looks fresh, too. My focus should help me follow it. There you are. Let's see where you lead.
same horn that breathes fire. I think I found Laren's new friend. I'm gonna have to take it down. Can just stay still for me, huh? That should be enough salvage for Laren's armor. Just have to take it back to his camp. Here's that fanghorn you wanted. Most of it, anyway. Yes! This is it! This will make my armor truly stand out. Unless... maybe I can add... Uh... It's about time you got started, isn't it? You're right! Can't make the perfect armor if I never light the forge. Thank you, Aloy. Maybe you'll come back around when Karuf does. See me win that prize? I can try. Aloy! Looking to buy some stuff? Making sparks challenge. fly out there? Do some strike. How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. I'll uh, see you around, Petra. Until next time. Please, have a seat. Ah, I knew I'd make a strike player out of you yet. How about this time I tell you how to use a board's terrain to your advantage? This one's got all the different terrains you can encounter in a game of strike. Knowing when and how to use them can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Terrain mainly affects your machine's combat power. As you know, when fighting an opponent's machine, you compare its combat power to yours. The higher your machine's combat power, the more damage you can do. So finding the right terrain is an essential strategy for overpowering your opponent. Here, I'll show you. Grab that piece to your left and move to attack my machines. Now let's take a look at combat power is the sum of a machine's attack power and the value of the terrain it's standing on. Since your machine is attacking, it's using its two points of attack power. It's also standing on forest terrain with a value of one point. 
add those together and your machine has three points of combat power. My machine is standing on grassland terrain with a value of zero points. It's also not attacking, which means their attack points aren't in play. So my combat power is zero. This means your machine can do three points of damage. Go ahead and test it out. There you go. Now, choosing the right terrain doesn't just improve your offense. It can also help defend your machines from attack. Grab your... Since your machine is attacking, it's using its two points of attack. It's standing on grassland terrain. This terrain has a value of zero. This means your machine's combat power adds up to two points. My machine can't use their attack power since they're defending their position. But they have the higher ground. They're standing on forest terrain, which is worth one point. This means my combat power adds up to one point. Now, the front of my machine is colored blue. This means that the spot you're about to attack has armor protecting it which means my machine gets an extra point, giving it a total of two combat power points. If we compare the combat power of both machines, you'll see that you won't be able to do any damage. Whenever you're unable to top an opponent's combat power, you can still choose to attack and break their machine's defenses instead. Go ahead, try it out and see what happens. See, when you break a machine's defenses, you can knock it backwards. Sure, both our machines will receive one point of damage, but knocking my machine off that terrain makes it more vulnerable to attacks. Not only that, if my machine had been blocked from moving backwards, it would have received an extra point of damage. And if my machine had been blocked by another one of my pieces, that machine would have received damage as well. That's why breaking a machine's defenses is a great way to deal damage to several pieces at once. Useful, right? Okay, now go ahead and end your turn. There's still one more thing I want to show you. All right, as we've seen, the higher the terrain, the more it'll add to your machine's combat power. However, there are two other terrains that work a little differently. This is what we call a chasm. Only flying machines can be placed on those but it'll take away two combat points if you do, so be wary. This is marsh terrain. Landing on it will take away one combat power point from most machines. It'll also keep your machine from moving for the rest of the turn. Here, let me show you. Grab that machine on your left. See? All you can do now is wait for your next turn to move again or you can overcharge your machine to get out of there. You can still attack any nearby enemies so you're not completely helpless. Well, I think that's enough yammering from me for now. Promise it'll all come in handy next time you play. Here for more tips? Why don't I tell you a bit more about the pieces we used to play? In a normal game, you get to choose which machines you place on the board. Each one is worth a certain number of setup points, and you can spend up to 10 assembling your army. Knowing what each machine brings to the game and building an army that matches your strategy is the key to becoming a machine strike master. When assembling your army, there are a few things to keep in mind. First and foremost, you can never have more than four of the same machine on the board at the same time. With that in mind, most players will choose machines based on how far they can move or how much attack power they have. But a real strike player will be looking at a machine's type and skills. Let's take a quick look, shall we? Pick up that machine on your left. All right, let's talk about the different ways in which a machine attacks its opponents. In other words, its machine type. If you look at your notes, you'll see this machine here is a melee type. You can also tell by the shape of the base the piece stands on. A melee type machine attacks the first enemy within range and no one else. We've seen this plenty of times, so just move that piece forward so I can show you some more stuff. Great, now grab your other machine. 
Looks like we've got ourselves a gunner type machine here. This means they'll only hit the farthest enemy in their attack range. Let's move that machine forward and end your turn so we can take a look at the rest of the pieces. Let's go with this piece first. This is a ram type machine. Attack an enemy with it and it'll push the piece backwards. Like this. See, now my machine has taken over your machine spot on the board. This is a great way to take the advantage away from your opponent if they have the higher ground. Looks like we have one more piece to look at. Oh, now this is a beauty of a piece, a dash type machine. When it attacks, it'll move to the end of its attack range and damage every machine in its path, including your own. So make sure you take a good look at the board before you send it off to the races. You should also make sure it's able to finish its attack on an empty spot. Otherwise, you won't be able to attack at all. Here, I'll show you. Look, it even rotated your piece. A nifty little piece you'll definitely want in your set. If you look at your notes, you'll notice this particular machine has one of the skills I mentioned before. There's quite a few of those, and we haven't even looked at all the machine types yet. But I'm pretty sure you've got more important things to do, so I made you a list. It's got all the tips and tricks we talked about, too. I think that about does it for now, so if you want to play a real game, just let me know. Here we go. Time to get serious. Your move, Red. That's it for me. Your odds aren't good, Red. I always get nervous when I overcharge my pieces. One less piece on the board. Guess luck's not on your side today, Red. Good luck.
You're up, Red. Time to make my move. Your turn. It's all yours. Ah, off the board it goes. I'm up. Your turn. Ah. <laughs> Looks like I lost. <laughs> I'll see you later, Aloy. No one wants to play some strike? Yes! Time to play some strike! Here we go.
Okay. I can do this. Ending things here? How about we play on another board? Let us do battle. I gotta think this through. Time for me to step up. I'm done. Let's get that piece out of there. My cue. Yes. Your return. My turn. Machine down. And 
there it goes. Off the board you go, buddy. Okay, I can do this. I thought I had it all worked out, and then you go on and do that. Looks like we have a winner. Ah, that was fun. I look forward to our next game. Come on, then. No one's up for a game of strike? So, are you there? I'm in planes. I mean, it's amazing. It's just like you said, the fields are back in bloom. Outlander, here and we have you to thank for it. If you hadn't come along, the Utaru would still be starving, under right. siege by machines. I'm just glad it worked out. Yes. First plane song. Next, the world. into the perfect wear. You're a Nora, aren't you? Haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. I didn't think the Utaru traveled that far east. I did it for my dyes. I like to see how different tribes use roots and plants to make new colors. It's amazing how the right hue can make armor express so much more than its mere function. I have some samples, if you're interested. Beautiful. 
It's nothing compared to the Tanakh Dyers. They may not be the friendliest of tribes, but if you bring their Dyers plants or samples, they might show you their skills. I'll keep an eye out for them. No pestering. With the right resources, I can bring out your armor's true colors, Huntress. 